Hey, he's showing here back with the PvP build for Alien release. This PvP build is all about setting up your flamethrower for success. You'll have as many as up to five different stun abilities to set up your flamethrower. And uh, I'll go through each ability with you. Let's get going. The first ability is the lightning storm. It's an area around you that does uh, lightning damage and stun the target. You can either use the default version or you can use the green one that teleports you forward towards your target. The next ability is the first colossus. I would say it's mandatory to have it in the blue room here because it's just so good to have five of these land on your target. It's a transcendence um, stun so it goes through all immobility, defense and dodges. First spell is the fiery explosion blue skill. You should all know this from your leveling build. Is the basic general big new airborne spell that is really good to disable your target. Definitely get it. The next ability I will take is first strike. First strike is your like execute timer ability that has shield destruction, which means whenever you hit, you cancel the target's shield and defensive skills for three seconds. It also makes you immune to knockback, stiffen and pull effects for a little while after use and has bullseye which means it will pretty much always hit the target that you're hitting. Last we have the first fall which resets all the abilities the eyes have. But if you have the purple version of it, it also defreezes the targets around you for 3 seconds. It's an instant cast and it will defreeze anyone around you within like a 5 meters radius. And the reason why we're running all these kind of CC things is because we want to set up the flamethrower. Once we have the target locked down, we can walk up to our target and flamethrower them to death. Flamethrower is an incredibly powerful DPS purple version of the Fiery Bash. Here we are doing a 1 vs 1 and I'll just show how I'm controlling the waller with all my stunts and just keeping my distance while coming in and poking him with the flamethrower. Here I force him to uh, use his immunity tap skill and basically you just want to wait it out whenever Warlord does this because he can't take any damage inside the circle. So here he's uh, running and I get a little bit greedy and over committing and I almost die to his uh, smash ability. But I managed to get out and uh, start keeping my distance again and then from here on I can control the fight until he's dead. And I'll add another clip here. This is basically a 2 vs 2 where it's a mirror matchup. I'm gonna put pressure on their elementalist while my teammate is on their assassin. So you can see I start out with a flame wall and knock him up in the air so he starts fleeing and I start hunting him. I just keep on putting the pressure and at some point at the, the fight we get to this pillar where I find the low assassin and basically I just swap target to make sure he dies. And from there on we can kill the elementalist together. First he knocks him up and then I knock him up and then we kill him. 